Hi guys, how do you do? Welcome to Relation Programming Wizards. For today, we're going to continue with our Android JSON tutorial series of tutorials. Now, for today, how to work with the simple list view as well as, of course, our JSON data. Now, for us, we're going to be downloading this particular JSON data. If you point our browser to this particular site, jsonplacesolder.typeco.com slash users, you're going to have access to this particular data. It's public data. For us, the whole of this one right here is a JSON data. You should be downloading it. It's a JSON array, you can see it's encapsulated with this angle bracket. Then of course uh, inside our JSON array we're going to, we're having JSON objects. Now for us of course you can see right here we are having all these particular data right here. Okay. So each for instance this one right here encapsulated in our, our braces right here, this consists of JSON objects. Now JSON objects simply represent a single user with an ID, name, username, email, etc. We are having several uh, JSON objects around 10 of them for us what we're going to be interested in is simple we're going to be interested in getting this particular name and then showing it in a simple list view that we're having okay so that's what we're going to do now for us in fact here we have a simple demo we come over right here click our fab button you can see downloading then of course you can see the data that we're having over right here okay so this is it right here okay you can see for instance the first one right here all our data we're having it over here so this is, this is what we're going to look at how to work with the json data we're going to be using the ogd json classes we're not using any third party library so guys do welcome get started of course let's jump over to android studio right here i'm using android studio 2.1.2 now the first thing of course create a project once you've created your project inside our build.cradle right here we really don't need anything special okay apart from the uh, design support libraries which of course we're using because of our fab button then right here we're going to move over to our manifest okay remember we shall be talking to it so we're going to need this permission for connection to the internet we shall be downloading our json data that is from our internet okay so of course once we have that one we're going to come over to our layout which is simple activity main generated for us by Android view then of course the content main inside our content main we're going to include our list view not tech not id lv uh we have given it too much parent this is it guys these are simple list view that you're working with so please make sure that you uh add each to your content main layout or to your layout there's it let's move over to our classes we're going to have three simple classes that are wrapped inside this package i'm calling mjson connect a class to establish connection for us json downloader to download the json data in the background thread json parser to pass for us the data that is process it and then of course bind that particular data in our list view and then of course our main activity well we come start with the connector class the connector class is simple we're simply going to have one static method right here this is going to return for us an object now this method is going to take a json string which is uh, going to be a url right here that's going we're calling json string now first of course we come in such a try url java.net url if we specify the wrong url format we're going to catch a malformed url exception then we come get our url get our hash connection okay by calling url dot open connection this is going to give us a url connection of course which is a super class of http url connection so we cast it now we come set our connection properties we'll be making a get request to a server okay to retrieve our data with get request we're not going to be it's a read only request we're not going to be uh, modifying any resources in our server we simply read our data and that's it so we come our connect timeout we're going to give it 15k m, uh, ms then read timeout also as well now do input yes our connection is going to support input of data because remember we're downloading data into application then we return that particular connection okay while opening our connection to our url we're going to be catching our io exception of our data this is it this is how we're gonna of course uh, connect to our network we move to our downloader once we've connected of course the first thing of course is to download data now for us the first thing this is something we're going to perform in the background thread so we come derive from async task we're going to have these three parameters passed to us by the constructor so we come over right here and then come and say alt insert then over the constructor will have context as uh, our json url 
and then of course our list will pass to us then of course once we have that one we're going to come right here this is an async task so first we're going to override on pre-execute doing background and then on post execute we don't pre-execute we are first going to initialize our progress dialog right here and then show it then doing background this way shall be performing our task then which of course in this case is downloading our data on post execute is going to check the data we've downloaded as a f uh, as a string right here our json data then of course we it's right here that we shall call our parser to pass it but for now we just make sure that we dismiss our progress dialog now the first thing that we come and do of course we come over right here we come and then implement our task which in this case we said is our downloading of data so this particular we create this particular method that is going to return for us as a string we're going to call it download so this is how we're going to download our data first we're going to need to establish a connection uh, for us so we come right here we're going to use our connector class we call it static method connect right here passing in our json url this is going to return for us an object right here the first thing let's check if that's an error so we're going to come right here if connection dot to string we cast it dot to string then we check if it starts with the term error remember or if we had an error we were pending the term error in front of our exception so if this is the case then what are you going to do well it's what we're going to do so we're going to come here and say return connection dot to string okay so that's it otherwise if that's not the case then we're going to come right here and then inside our try catch block this is how we're going to re uh, download our data first we establish our connection by casting that particular connection object to http url connection then we get our response code we check its status if its status is http okay then we go ahead and then download otherwise if that's not it then of course we come right here and then you're going to get the response message okay otherwise we come over right here first of course our input stream of our input stream we pass in our input stream which we get from our connection then of course once you've done that one we're going to come buffered reader we instantiate it passing in an input stream reader instance of to which of course we also pass in our input stream now we're going to have this particular line variable right here this is where we shall be storing we shall be reading line by line storing them inside this string so json data equal to new string buffer then we come and read to read our data is simple line equal to br dot read line okay we are reading line by line and assigning them to this variable at the same time checking we not null if that's the case then of course we come append our data over here at the end of the day we close our resources buffer reader and then input stream then of course we come here return our json data it was a string buffer we cast it to string otherwise we're going to come of course we implement our download then of course once we've dismissed our progress dialog then we're going to come right here say if json data we check if it starts with the term error no if this is the case then try doing well we are having an error in that case so we're simply going to come over right here and say display it now toss that make text the context right here of course is our c and then, then right here we dis simply display our error now in this case error that you are having over here so that's it if this is not the case okay if that's not the case then of course we come over right here and then call our parser to pass our method so that's it guys these are just in downloader class this is the class we shall be downloading our data so next let's move over to our parser class over to a json parser right here inside our json parser this is a simple class as well passing also we're going to be performing in our background thread so we come make sure that we derive from async task but then meanwhile we're going to come for the constructor we're going to pass context json data and of course our list view for the const uh, constructor then we come right here we override these three methods on pre-execute doing background and then of course our own post execute so of course it's simple on pre-execute we come take this opportunity and then of course initialize our progress dialog because it's called before our doing background doing background method is where we perform our task which is in this case is passing our data on post execute is going to check a boolean that we're calling is passed is going to receive it from our doing background 
this is the result of our task okay so we come pass it right there then we come here now the first thing of course we're going to be checking if it's passed then what are you going to do well we're gonna bind our data if this is the case otherwise we're going to come right here if that's not the case then you're going to say else so we come here and say else if this is not the case then of course we're going to show simple tools but then for now we're going to come let's come right here create a simple method that's going to return for us a boolean let's call this particular method pass this is how we're going to pass our data now for us it's going to be simple we having right here first a json array we instantiate it passing in a json data json object we initialize it we clear our array list which is users okay remember this array list right here we created it is going to hold for us all our users that we've passed now we come look through our json array as a loop through it we get json object so by same passing in an index okay then of course we come name equal to j order get string we pass in the name so we come add that particular name now take note right here that this particular name field we had it in a json you must also pass in whatever you have for instance if you wanted email you'd pass in email if you wanted id you'd pass in an id but an id was integer so in this case is going to be get int then of course we make sure we add it to our list right here we return true if we have a json exception we catch it then of course return false that's it and of course to come right here we simply come here and call pass method to implement it so of course we come we said right here if we pass then we're gonna bind otherwise we come display this particular toast over right here now to bind our data we're going to this is a simple list so we're simply going to use the array adapter we instantiate it passing in the context the layout and of course our array list then we set adapter to our list view now every that set on item click listener we come right here new adapter view in this case our adapter view is our list view okay we are calling it on item click listener because actually a list view if you want to get an item we call the good uh, we use the item click listener and like the spinner which we had done previously which we use the item selected and then today we come right here if an item has been clicked we show that particular item by passing in the index right here in our users uh, which is our array list uh, get method so this is going to return for us a single user we will show it uh, when an item has been clicked guys this is it this is our parser class json parser then of course to call it we need to come right here we're going to come here and then call new json parser we pass in our context then we pass in our json data then of course our list view so lv then remember to call the execute method so that's it guys that's it that's going to do for us is a json downloader class the next thing we're going to move over to our main activity which is simple right here the first thing we come we get our json url we specify our json url okay this is the url that we so right here this is going to return for us a json file okay json data then of course we're going to uh, come right here initialize our list view now we simply come new json downloader remember our json downloader uh, was an async task subclass so we call its execute method to start it we pass in our context our url and then our list view this is it this is our main activity right here and then of course our manifest we come over right here make sure that you add the permission for connection for internet guys that's it that's all we need to do please let's run our project uh let's have come right here run our pics so that we see our result okay meanwhile let's wait uh, we've waited here is our result so we have an empty receiver over right here okay make sure that your connection is on then we come click our fab button right here download json it passes it and here we have our json data uh, from online okay this is it gives this is it this is our json of course with the list view i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the troll if you have hit the like button share the video with friends and family and guys make sure you subscribe so that you never miss any of our tutorials we do post our tutorials quite regularly that is take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial